Oh, hey, what's going on, y'all? Oh, my shirt. My shirt dumb, ain't it? Let's check this out. Still collectibles, man. Look at that. Peep, peep, peep the design. Peep the design, though. You know what I'm saying? But hold on. I ain't the one that made it, though. Yeah, we've been talking to my people over there. Still collectibles. They also have a, um, a website. They have an Instagram account. Make sure y'all check them out, man. The shirt fits real good. It feels real good. Everything fits. You know what I'm saying? Everything fits real good. I'm, I'm a big dude. You know what I'm saying? So this shirt is a 2X. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the design is real cool, man. The shirt is very high quality. Check out stillcollectibles.com. Everything that you see inside this haul, uh, well, most of it, most of it came from Still Collectibles. So go check the Instagram page out. Go check the store out if you're in the area. Uh, make sure you check out their website. They got everything that you need. But uh, without further ado, start the video. Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, man. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. But all right, man. Uh, was it this here is a uh, the biggest, I want to say, hauls, pulls, whatever you want to call it. Y'all seen, seen the first video. Um, this one's going to be a little bigger than usual. Pause. Pause on that. But uh, yeah, man. Without further ado, we're definitely going to get up into it. If you have not already, make sure you hit that um, subscribe button. Click the bell icon. So you're notified every time I upload, but without further ado, let's get up into it. Okay, man, so um, before I grab the first one, uh, basically, um, I do have a backwards compatible PS3 now. So with that being said, I now have a bigger like PS2 collection or whatever. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dive straight into this haul. So sit back, chill, take a pee break, pause the video, get you some popcorn, cause you know how I do. But all right, uh, so first things first, got one of my favorite games here, Need for Speed Underground, the very first one. This is like this is like the first one that got me started in Need for Speed series. You know what I mean? So you know everything is all in here as it should. You know what I'm saying? Gonna get that out of there. NHL hits uh, 2003. NHL hits 2003. You know, it's just a sleeve with the CD inside of it. You know what I mean? Not too spectacular. Shell Shock Nom 67. I think, matter of fact, uh, this this was another first person shooter. I never played this one, but you know, hey, you know, I'm kind of reliving all of the PS2 glory games. But uh, I think I I think I already have this one somewhere in. I, I think I already have this one. I don't know. I'll have to go see. Driver Parallel Lines, and I think this one is the limited edition because this one comes with. Let me open this up here. Uh, I think this one comes with. Lord, I'm over touching stuff. This way, it comes with the CD, and then it comes with the soundtrack. So I, so I got the soundtrack too, so that's kind of cool. But then again, you know, who has a CD player in 2021, right? The very first Metal of Honor that came out on PlayStation 1, I hope there's not a glare, hopefully y'all can see. Uh, yeah, but uh, Metal of Honor, the first one that came out on PS1, uh, I remember playing that younger when I was a kid. I never finished it, but I just do remember like vaguely how that game played. So I scooped it up. Next on the list, what we got here? Um, some game called NBA Basketball 2000, some generic basketball game that came out back in the day on PlayStation 1. Uh, as you can see, it has the uh, the Blockbuster sticker on there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it got the black Blockbuster sticker on there. But uh, yeah, it's just some generic game. I was like, you know, just for shits and gigs, I'll pick it up. Yeah, SOCOM 4, you know what I'm saying? This one, I think SOCOM 4 followed right after SOCOM Conversation, and that was them trying to make, you know, make a, a desperate attempt at trying to get SOCOM back on the map. I really do hope that uh, for next gen on PS5, I hope that they do bring that back. I really hope they do. Not in this form, because this game wasn't too good comparing it to SOCOM Confrontation, but hopefully they do bring back SOCOM, so scoop this up. 007, all of everything on the PS2. Never really played this one. I think I played all the 007s up to, um, I played all the 007s up to Nightfire. I never played this one, but I do remember how, uh, I do remember people talking about this or whatever. So I was like, you know, let me see what all the hype is, you know? Freedom Fighters. Um, I do remember seeing a demo. No matter if I played a demo of this when I was younger, I do remember this. But um, yeah, so I figured I went ahead and scooped that up. You know what I'm saying? Some, some slight, nothing too major. You know what I mean? Hopefully y'all enjoy. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already. 25 to Life. I remember in elementary school, I remember my friends were talking about this game crazy. Like, I never played this game and I don't really know too much of it. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen this, I was like, you know, let me see what all the big hype is. I think they said this was, I want to say that I want to say my friend said this was San Andreas before San Andreas came out. I think, 
You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't know too much about this game, so I wanna just scoop it up just for research purposes. You know what I'm saying? Research. <laughs> In PS3, Skate 3, enough said. Everybody knows about Skate, the whole Skate series. And I hope y'all know that uh, Skate is supposed to be coming out. Um, they're having a new edition of Skate coming out. I think it's for the Series X, and uh, Series XS and PS5, I think. If I'm, not too, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not too sure, but they are making a Skate, so, you know, one hand scoop this up. I think I got this on Xbox, too, but I downloaded that one, so I went ahead and picked this one up. NCAA 06. I think this one, people said this was like one of the goaded NCAA football games of the series. Um, when I seen it, I had to pick it up, man. Like I said, dude, these, these are like gems that I'm holding on to right now, you know what I mean? So I went ahead and scooped this up. Um, yeah, you know, I got everything in here, the case, the booklet, you know, everything, the whole shebang, you know what I'm saying? Frequency. Now, I don't know if any of y'all know about frequency. Now, check this out. The cellophane, the wrapping is still on it. Like, can you see that? The wrapping is still on it. You know what I mean? This was brand new, okay? This, this is a brand new game. Now, let me just pretty much just sum this up in layman's terms for y'all. So, this game here, this was, I think, I, I don't remember where I remember hearing this from, but they, they said it. It was, I don't know if it was on a radio station. Let me not, I'll tell you that. I, I remember them saying it, but I don't remember where where they said it at. I don't know if it was a radio station, YouTube, YouTube clip or whatever, but this game here, Frequency, this was one of the games where it was like, if you want to make beats, but you weren't really like, you know, too inept at all the ins and outs and the technologies of it, this game simplified it to you like Barney style. So all it was, was basically you had different bands, you had different groups, you had some rap, you had some rock, you had, you had a lot of different groups. And what you did in here basically was you created beats or you followed beats that the game had set for you and that was like your way of like beating the different levels. Then you had a free play mode where the free play mode uh, allowed you to go into different uh, different songs or different groups and allowed you to create custom beats. And this guy, or I think this producer, I forgot what his name was, but he said that his first beat came from this. His first beat came from Frequency. This is a PS2 classic. For people that like to make beats and into music, this is something that you should pick up when you get the chance to check this out. This is dope. I remember playing the demo of this. This is, this is one game out of the demo I remember playing the most. So if y'all ever get a chance, man, do your research, do your homework on Frequency. If you like to make beats and you like music, check this out. You will love this. I know I do. Spider-Man 3, you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. Spider-Man 3, you know what I mean? Another classic. Ain't got too much to say about that. Spider-Man 2, you know what I mean? The sequel. You know what I mean? All right. Eco and the Shadow Colossus Collection. Uh, this one I got, I think, yeah, this is two in one, but this here I got when I was, uh, I think I had a, uh, I think I had a bundle for the PS3 that I got in and came with a couple of games. So Spider-Man 2 and 3 and then um, I think a couple of other games it came with, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? These are, these here are classics. A Gran Turismo 5, enough said, man, great game. Uh, I think this is also included in the bundle for the console. Um, Uncharted 3, another classic. This is a gem here. You cannot sleep on the Uncharted series. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I played the first one, missed out on the second one, missed out on the third one. Played the newest one, or the most recent one, but I never got around to this one. But um, yeah, this is definitely a classic here. So had a, I think this this came in a bundle too. So Mass Effect 2. Um, don't really know too much about Mass Effect. People say this is one of the uh, one of the better games in the Mass Effect series. Like I guess I don't know too much of it, but um, hey, you know, it was in a bundle, so you know, you can't really. I didn't want to send it back, so I might check this out sometime in my free time. See what it's about. SSX Tricky. I remember playing SSX Tricky. This one was a. This one was on one of the demos, one of the demo discs. And I remember I played this like extensively. Like I remember playing it because it, they only gave you, I think whichever demo it was, I think they gave you, they gave you one level. I think that was Elysium Alps, I think, or whatever. If, if I'm not mistaken, that any of y'all that remember, it was the first, the, the, I think it was the first track that you played on. And when you start out, you jump off this super huge cliff where you can do all your spins, your turns, your flips, all kinds of stuff. And uh, SSX Tricky was probably one of the coolest games I ever played because I was never into snowboarding, but this is one of the games where, you know, EA Sports Big, it was actually, you know, they were on top of their, you know, A game, you know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, SSX Tricky, man, another classic, I had to scoop that up. Good game. 
NCAA 09, had to scoop this up. I do have Madden 09 on PS2. Um, I think that is summer and I gotta find it, but you know, I think they, they kept the NCAA series going, I think until 11 or 12. I'm not sure how far they kept going on PS2, but seeing this had to pick it up. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Deshaun Jackson on the cover. I'm not sure. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. Another game, uh, Need for Speed High Pursuit 2. Uh, another game I played on the demo disc. Like, I'm referring to the demo disc a lot because this is how I got uh, acquainted to a lot of the games I used to play um, on the demos. But uh, this is another one here. Um, another cool classic game, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can be the cop, you can, uh, you, um, you're, you know, you're racing to, you know, beat the players also, but at the same time, you're racing to evade the cops. So, uh, you know, another cool little game I remember playing the demos on. I had to scoop it up, you know what I mean? Classic game. NBA 2K16 for PS3, I almost said 15. <laughs> 2K16 on the PS3. Um, you know, I, I already had it on the PS4, but you know, hey, I might as well take a step back, you know, see what the PS3 version was hitting for. You know I mean? I had to check that out, but uh, yeah. Nothing really spectacular, just wanted to pick it up. NBA 07, you know what I'm saying? With my man, the Black Mamba, rest in peace. God rest his soul. All right, NBA 07 on the uh, PS3. I do remember playing this, but I never really was like, I think at that time, um, I, I think I was I was playing it, but like I said, I was I was into like demos and stuff like that. So I remember playing a demo of this, or like, remember we used to go to Walmart and used to have like the TVs that used to be like up on top of the, um, up on top of the cabinet and remember like I think so PS3 first came out and I remember they, this is one of the demo games that they had and uh, I just remember playing it and this one here is still wrapped inside of the it's still wrapped in the uh the I think can you see it? let me see I'm trying to see if you can see it yeah if you can see it it's still wrapped in the cellophane so yeah you know what I mean but I had to pick this up you know what I'm saying now because you know Cobra's on the cover but you know just another throwback basketball game pretty cool Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, Wii Sports, uh, this is Wii Sports, the first one, the first Wii Sports. Uh, yeah, had to pick this one up. This one was 30 bucks. Had to pick this up. Could have got it anywhere for cheaper, but everywhere else is pretty much sold out. You know, GameStop will throw out old games. They don't too much care for that. They try to get into the next gen, which I can't stand them for that. But uh, make sure y'all check these folks out, man. Still collectibles. Make sure y'all check them out. Um, yeah, but had to pick this on up. If you're already, if you're already wondering or asking, yes, I already have a Wii already. So, um, so yeah, pop this in time to time. You know what I'm saying? Whoop some ass, some bowling, maybe a little bit of baseball. You know what I mean? Pretty good game. NCAA 10. Um, I had this on PS3, but then again, I kind of want to keep the correlation between all the Madden's and NCAA's that was on PS2. So for this one, I have NCAA, I mean, not NCAA, Madden 10 coming in the mail soon, I think. Yeah, it's coming. I got to figure out when I get my damn uh, notification. But yeah, um, NCAA football 10. Had to pick it up, see what the PS2 version was busting for, you know what I mean? Because then again, this was this was the glory days. Um, this was the glory days when you were playing on PS2, so. Go ahead and pick that up. Man, no way, PS2. Um, I did have this a long, long time ago, a long, long, long time ago, but this one didn't really hit to me because for the simple fact of I had this, I know I had Madden 07 still in my console. I still play that like crazy amount of hours. I still play that. You know what I mean? This is just something 08 didn't hit too well with me. 07 was like one that like really stuck in my ribs. So I was more or less hooked to 07 than I was 08. But then again, you know, I have a, uh, trying to keep the correlation between the NCAAs and the Maddens on PS2, trying to keep them all together. You know what I mean? So...